the Boston Celtics versus the Philadelphia 76ers. The last game of the series, Game 7. The, the most the most interesting game of the series. It always comes down to Game 7. So the first half started and you know, they're going back and forth. Pretty much even in game. James Harden was making a couple shots. Jordan B was dominating some of the pain. But, but Al Horford, was, he was maintaining him a little bit. He was, you know, playing good defense on him. It's, it's when the second half is where it got kind of ugly. See, there's a dude called Jason Tatum. In the last game, he went off in the fourth quarter to keep the Celtics alive. And boy, did that keep going. This guy scored 51 points against the freaking Philadelphia 76ers and the MVP, Joel Indeed. They were scoring back to back to back to back in the 76ers in the third quarter could not make a shot. Like, the scoreboard in the first half compared to the second half is way different. The Celtics destroyed the 76ers in the second half by a big margin. And that's because, you know, the team was doing good. But mostly, Jason Tatum, he started making them three-pointers over the tough defenders, Tobias Harris and everything. Ty Tyrese Maxey sometimes switch on him. But he was doing step-back three-pointers in and out cross. This guy was in his bag. 51 points, that's a record for a game seven, I believe they said. But, like, he was going off how Curry went off against the Kings. This guy was... Doing, making big time three pointers. He was start. He started that run in the second half, so the Celtics, you know, start moving, make shots. But if it wasn't Jason Tatum, my subtract that 51 points. I mean, it would have still been close, but the Celtics would have probably lost that game. But it, the Celtics with Jason Tatum, they carried that momentum. And Jalen Brown, he was cooking. He had like a quiet 20 plus points, and you know. Uh, Marcus Smart, the, you know, great point guard, shooting guard. He, you know, getting guys involved. Al Horford was hitting big time three pointers, and Al Horford, he is so underrated. He kept Joel and B sometimes on a good uh, defense level, and he didn't allow Joel and B to get anything easy. Even when Joel and B made shots, Al Horford was there to come right back and play better defense and made it make it get harder for him. That's what you gotta do. And he he did that in the whole series. He was guarding him the whole series, back to back to back. And he was not getting giving him any room, get any lack. He was giving him no easy buckets. And Joel Embiid, he had to work. And sometimes he destroyed Al Horford, and sometimes Al Horford was playing great defense. And I'll give... I tip my hat off to Al Horford because he is so underrated. And he's a big part of the team with Jace Tam, Jalen Brown. And for the 76ers, it was a great season. You know, Joel Embiid got the MVP. James Harden, you know, he showed a little bit MVP in them in the playoffs, scoring, you know, 40 points and everything. But they pushed it all the way to Game 7. If they really wanted to win the series, they should have won Game 6. But, you know, Jason Tatum went off, but they got to continue to grow. They have a good team in their hands. I, I see, you know, getting them some key other players. But they just got to, you know, keep going and just don't doubt and don't fire Doc Rivers like the other people are firing, you know, coaches. And just keep believing that they can come back. And that's what I got to say about it. This was a great series. Now it's on to Miami Heat. Celtics versus the Heat. That's going to be a great series. That's going to be... That's just literally the rematch, 2020, the Miami Heat versus Celtics. This is the, this is the bubble. Like, literally, the 2020 bubble, the Celtics were going against the Miami Heat, and now the Lakers are going against the Nuggets. That was that was in the bubble. Like, it's crazy. This is like, this is the bubble, but actually without Corona. <laughs> it, this, is, this is crazy to me, but that's what you got to say about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Can't wait for more, and I'm out.